Hello, this is Rainer Winnen, your TA for ATM 101, showing you how to use Google Maps in order to complete the screencast in which you report the location of your weather station. Open up your web browser and go to maps.google.com. If you have not updated to the new Google Maps, a menu bar will pop up on the left asking you if you'd like to download the new version. This video is for the old version of Google Maps. If you would like to use the updated version or you already have it, follow the instructions in the other video for the new Google Maps. If you decide to just stick with the old version, you will not need the bar on the left side, so close it by clicking the arrow at the top right edge. You should be in satellite view. If you're not, click on the option for satellite at the top right corner. Find your town by typing the name of your town into the search box and clicking enter or the magnifying glass. A bar will pop up again on the left labeling your town and some links related to your area. Again, you won't need this bar. Close it by clicking the arrow at the top right edge. In this view, you can navigate around by clicking and dragging and zooming by using the scroll on your mouse or by using the plus or minus tool on the left hand side of the screen. Find the location of your observing station and zoom in close to it. Make sure to keep your area in the center of the screen as you're zooming. For me, I first find the UAF campus in Fairbanks, I zoom into the West Campus, and then the ski trail by the Geophysical Institute. When you locate your observing station, right click on the location and select what's here from the drop down. An arrow will appear over your station. If your location is close to a Google landmark, a balloon will also show up where the landmark is located. And another bar will pop up on the left side with information about the landmark. You won't need this information either, so just close the bar. The latitude and longitude of your station should pop up in the search bar. If it doesn't, you can also just hover over the arrow and it'll appear there. For me, the first number, latitude, reads 64.859838 and the second number, longitude, reads minus 147.852298. Latitude and longitude are reported with positive values, meaning north for latitude and east for longitude. So the minus sign in front of my longitude just means that it's in degrees west. Now please copy down your latitude and longitude coordinates. You will not need all the numbers following the decimal, just the first two. These are in decimal format, so they will read 64 and 85 hundredths of a degree north and 147 and 85 hundredths of a degree west. Now you can zoom out to see more of the area around your station and town. You are now ready to create the screencast showing your location.